Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Let's have a look at a very interesting story. A story that is currently developing. Sakaja is working with Azimio. Nairobi Uda MCS. Uda MCS vote to boycott plenary sittings in protest over Sakaja's recent appointments. The MCS led by its leadership has claimed the governor has gone to bed with the opposition. Our governor has completely neglected the government side and has decided to work more with Azimio's side, said Anthony Kirago, the minority leader. Sakaja was elected by Nairobi people but we are here to remind him to remember which party gave him the governor's seat. Kiragu noted, Sakaja was chosen with the order flag, and if he feels he cannot involve us in the issues, he can go back to the field and be elected in the party he can serve. He added, in addition, Order MCS vote to boycott plenary sittings in protest over Sakaja's recent appointments. Yes. In this video, I want us to dig deep into that story to understand exactly what is happening behind the scenes. If you are watching us for the very first time, Subscribe, give this video a like. Kirago, the minority leader, and other MCS in Nairobi, mainly drawn from the mountain, are up in arms against Johnson Sakaja because Sakaja is bringing everybody on board, including individuals considered as Azimio supporters. That's exactly what is happening here. This MCS, the Kiragus, and the Miners, they want Sakaja to toe the line and to do exactly what William Ruto and Igavi Gashagwa did in the national government. In the case of the national government, William Ruto's government is composed mainly of people from the mountain and college in Rift Valley. That's what these MCAs are trying to push Johnson Sakaja to do. What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? Even from those remarks alone, you are seeing clearly the thinking within Kenya Kwanzaa. Tribal politics. Politics of exclusion. You exclude others while embracing others. That's largely the brand and style of politics in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. And it's very unfortunate that such style and brand of politics is taking center stage in, uh, in the 21st century, which is very unfortunate. And also I listened to the MCAs and they were talking, telling Sakaja to be a man of integrity, to appoint people in his government, people with integrity. And they had an issue with the one nominee Sakaja appointed, accusing that nominee that the nominee was very violent at Boomers. So according to this order MCAs, they believe that that nominee, because the nominee was violent at Bomas, supporting Azimio, the nominee does not qualify for appointment because the integrity of the nominee is dented, soiled. So these other MCs are talking about integrity. <laughs> yes, they are talking about integrity. And at the same time, 
they are very quiet, very silent. When Aisha Jumwa, somebody was accused and charged of murder, is being appointed as a cabinet secretary. They are silent and quiet on that, and they are now pushing Johnson Sakaja to only pick people of integrity in his county government. I just don't know how to describe that other than hypocrisy. These leaders are not honest. They are just playing cheap politics, tribal politics. And this is why I always have problems with some of the appointments William Root has been making in his government. Because you are seeing William Ruto set the precedent and you are now just seeing some of these ethnic and tribal leaders now trying to push a governor who is actually ruling the way Kenyans want, or rather ruling the right way. You are now seeing these MCs hmm, who have actually been brainwashed. They are now thinking that Sakadi is actually doing a wrong thing. While the truth of the matter, Sakadia is doing the right thing. He is just trying to bring everybody on board. He's coming out as a national leader, and that's something I've been saying in my analy analysis, or rather, it's something I've been saying in my previous uh, in my previous analysis. So these MCs, in my honest opinion, they have been they have been brainwashed into thinking that a right is a wrong and a wrong is a right. Secondly, I'm seeing a very big problem, especially from the mountain. I think it's now high time Kenyans might should come to this reality. There is a very big problem on the mountain. I just don't know what befell this our brother from the mountain. The Kinudias, the miners, if you listen to these people talk, you just don't know whether they are okay or whether they are living in our world. They are coming out as tribalists. Hmm? Tribalists. And because of that, I'm seeing, uh, and this is something I've been saying, I'm seeing Kenya actually divided into two. Just as I've been saying, those who actually believe in leadership and integrity and those who do not believe on anything like that. Mm -hmm. And now Kenyans should accept that. If you are in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, I won't be wrong to say a good majority of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance leaders, a good majority and even their supporters, do not believe on anything integrity. Um, I'm saying that with a lot of confidence. Any person supporting Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance or any leader aligning himself or herself with Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, that's somebody having some integrity issues. Dig deep and you will come to agree with me on that, ladies and gentlemen. And I know Sakaja, all Sakaja should not take them seriously because Nairobi residents are proof of exactly what Johnson Sakaja is doing. The governor should continue on that trajectory. That's exactly what Kenyans in Nairobi want to see. Kenyans in Nairobi want a leader who will bring everybody on board. A leader who will go beyond party lines. A leader who will go beyond ethnic lines in his government. And that's exactly what Sakaja is doing. This Oda MCS from the mountain. You are free not to support Johnson Sakaja. Kenyans, Nairobi MCS, a majority, will still support Sakaja. And Sakaja will have his bills or his um, appointments approved very easily because Nairobi is not maybe Moranga, is not maybe Nadi. 
This is a city of people who are informed. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But even before I stop, the mere fact that Azimio are the majority in the city. Oda MCS can do whichever they want. They will not stop Johnson Sakaja from delivering. If they want to sabotage his work, let them continue. Nairobi residents will support Johnson Sakaja. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. If you want to support our channel, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.